This is Jordan Tarot with JT News. Please make sure to tap that subscribe button, tap that like button, and tap that bell to be kept in the loop of what's going on out here. Okay, we see, oh, continued. Meg Thee Stallion responds to Jay Prince um, talking about, for, first and foremost, we already know everything, okay? Meg Thee Stallion doesn't like her contract. She thinks it's unfair. Um, she wants to recontract her contract. That's five years old. She hasn't dropped an album yet. Carl Crawford has been dumping money into her. She hasn't started making money till about a year ago. So think about, you know, him supporting her lifestyle, everything, getting her a deal, making sure she looks good. Girls cost more because they need better clothes and everything. Um, Carl Crawford gave her a fair standard contract that probably could be recontracted if she had a great first debut album. She hasn't even dropped a debut album. She's just got a buzz out here you know we don't know what she's gonna sell right so anyways uh jay prince was named in this because when meg the stallion did her suit with what did did her deal with rock nation took a picture with jay-z they answered with a picture of carl crawford and jay prince and you know just was stating that hey uh you know things got to be pay fair you know he helped her become successful um the root of the issue is, you know, people trying to break uh, artists apart, you know, big conglomerates. They they want the small label to do all the work and then they come in and take take them from each other, you know, take them from the small guy and then get all the the profit. But uh, Meg Thee Stallion has responded to this. See, 1501 was trying to stop her from releasing music on Friday because they want to work everything out before music's dropped. Meg the Stallion is bullying them with Rock Nation. So she responds. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Uh, I feel bad for Carl Crawford, I gotta be honest. She says, facts are facts are facts, public. I'm extremely pleased that 1501 and Carl Crawford were denied the request to dissolve the court order to try and stop my music from being released. I will proceed with the release of Sugar on Friday. I stand. I will stand up for myself and won't allow two men. Oh, she's trying to play the victim. Two men to bully me. I am not no one's property. Well, you you're a product. Meg the Stallion is not Megan. Uh, I don't know your real last name, but Meg the Stallion is signed to fifteen oh one. Y'all choose to highlight the issue of music splits. Uh, talk about everything else. This has nothing to do with anyone, including Jay-Z. Actually, it does, because Rock Nation is representing her. Stop deflecting and trying to make this a publicity stunt. She's the one who started this and made this a publicity stunt. I want my rights. The facts are, 51 doesn't want to approve my budget to put out my project that the court is allowing to be released. 51 tried to stop my release. I prevailed in court. 1501 tried to fight the decision today. Court denied 1501's request. Respect my deceased mother. She's not here. You don't know her. What, what does that have to do with anything? Everyone's had nothing but respect for his her mother. Uh, Carl should speak for himself. All the facts are public record available at the courthouse in Houston. Meg is tripping, I gotta be honest, okay? Because this guy invested money in her. Um... And, you know, the only reason the budget's not being approved is because Rock Nation has taken the steps to try to remove her from 1501. So before that can get solved, this is going to be ugly. Meg Thee Stallion might have just stalled her career at this point. Um, she should go ahead, work things out, release her first album, then recontract her contract. I'm sure they will recontract the contract. But she doesn't even rep 1501. Just like QC is being rep by Migos and everybody, it's because they believe they got the Migos to where they needed to be huge. They put money behind them, and they respect that. And that's not being respected here. Loyalty is being—it's a shame. I think Meg Thee Stallion's just getting the wrong advice. She seems like a really nice girl, um, and. She's alone now. Her mom's not here. That, 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 that's the part that really bothers me, that her mom's not here. She doesn't have that, and she's 25, you know? You know, so that's that, that's where I'm at. I still may here. I feel so bad for her, and I think she's getting the wrong advice, you know? This could have been worked out a little better. But um, anyways, I hope it all works out for everybody involved. Uh, this is Jordan Tower, JT News. 
I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys are having a great day. You determine your success. Write down everything you feel. Just feel grateful to have, you know? There's a lot of things that people don't have, you know? You can walk. You can eat. You have your health. You have family. You have love. You can, you know, you have... Just be grateful for what you have before you start thinking about what you don't have. I appreciate you guys. Think positive. Get negative energy out of your life, and I'll check you guys in the next one.